And Jade says it's the puffer fish and that they make this noise. <laughs> well, right before they puff up, when you startle them, they puff up. <laughs> They're scared. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, anyone, everyone, and no one. My name is Slack Lizard, and welcome back to another episode on Truly Bedrock. And today on Truly Bedrock, we're in the pretty ugly farms area of our. I don't know if I'd necessarily call this a base yet on Truly Bedrock, but I definitely call it our home at the moment. So, in the last few episodes, we've been doing quite a few things. We worked with Foxy, we've been getting the mob farm set up, we've been getting our storage set up, and today, I think we're going to start off by potentially working on our storage situation just a little bit here. Now, we've got manual storage going on over here, and we're going to have manual storage going on over here on this wall as well for bulk storage, for things like deep slate, stone, and everything like that. Now, this spider spawner here is an interesting thing. It's been here for a while now, and Jen has been AFK in this thing quite a bit so that we can get string, but I don't know how much longer it's going to stay here because it's starting to get in the way of things. So for now, I think we're going to leave it be. I think we're going to leave it be, but we're going to gather up some wood, gather up some chests, and get some bulk storage going in on this wall over here. Also, we need to run back over to spawn because as you can see here, we've got a lot of mending books where we've been undercutting Silent and Zloy's, uh, what is that thing over there, casino? Gambling Addictions Anonymous place, whatever you wanna call it. So I think we need to grab ourselves some more books here so that we can head over there and restock that and restock our rocket shop as well. Look at this, mending, boom. I mean, that's just absolutely great. Is there anything else we could potentially sell over there? Don't know, efficiency four. Mm, maybe Aqua Affinity Riptide. Hmm. Also, I need I need more netherite. All of our tools are not netherite at this moment in time. Right, so let's get things started. Let's get some chests in. Let's head over to spawn. Let's get these mending books over there and then see what we're going to do after that. And you know, the concept of this area over here may be pretty ugly farms, but pretty ugly storage is not part of the plan here. Now, I'm really curious about something. I've been playing around with a potential storage layout, theme, palette, whatever, and I'm not exactly sewed on anything yet, but I do want to test something here. This season, we have the ability to craft our mini blocks using a stone cutter. Now, if we go on the principle that this box here is going to be reserved for netherrack, can I... Hmm, I really wanted to put that dead against that. Technically, I... Hmm... Hmm, I think I actually like that. That's actually going to go better than I had planned it in my head. And I think that that may be something that we do here. So if we break these back out over here on the back side, and let's just pillar these three up here, these three up here, and these three up here. And we need to grab ourselves some more of the fences. So we'll go one, two, three. Then we need, for this side, we need a stone one, which we have right here. Can I grab you and put you right there? That would signify that stone goes into there. We need a cobble one, which we do not have yet. So if we go over here and we use the stone cutter that we have in here, hi, I can see you. And we throw that into there. Come on, can, can I have that back out of there, please? Then we bring this around here and we put that onto there, please. Nope, we gotta break the carpet. That's an interesting way to go about the storage. I think we've got to change our whole plan here. Now, at the moment, we're coming up through here through a couple of doors. Our main, what is this? That leads to our bubble column where our AFK fish farm is. That leads out there. So neither of these are really a predominant entrance or exit yet. They can be taken out of the equation and something else put in here. This, as much as I like this, I feel like this needs to go back a few more blocks. And then on top of that, it needs to be wider. It needs to be wider. I think this needs to go another two so that we can have a full five in the middle. It just feels like we need that extra area. So let's readjust all of this out to see if we can make this fit better. And that's looking about right. So if we skip that, we got one, two, three, four, 
five block block the back side of this feels really weird but i think that feels really weird because we dug this whole wall out bigger but in the short version of this we now have five there if our chests go there 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 and there same with over here so all of this has to adjust all of this has to adjust and i'm even thinking that it all needs to go back at least one more block so now let's shift all this around I do like the pushback of everything here. I like how we've got the template set up using diorite. We're using calcite and we're using deep slate. We're also using concrete and concrete powder in the floor. And I think that's going to have to change out. The only thing I'm not liking about this design that I've came up with is it feels like it's lacking color. So maybe we will choose a universal color to put the powdered concrete as, and I'm thinking it might be lime green concrete powder i mean slack lizard logo is lime green more or less so that may be the way to go with that now on this side over here i may or may not have done some changes since the last time that we were here which mainly just consists of now instead of inside of the boxes being the raw materials we're only going to put full shulker boxes of the materials so we got a lot of sand there we've got a couple of glass here we've got quite a few of cobblestone and we still got quite a few up on the surface as well that we got to deal with. This needs to be pushed back. All of this needs to be fine-tuned. And, yeah, I think we need to change that out. So let's ooh, get some frames back and do that real quick. Splash of color does help. Does help quite a bit here. And I think I like it. I think I like it. And I think I want to take it and wrap it around all this whole area here. So let's get this all around that and potentially even to that now i'm torn on this i'm really really torn on this i don't like this here anymore i don't know if we're at the point where we want to break it or not so we might just kind of work around it at the minute but i have a distinct feeling that that thing is going to have to go this is going to have to wait to another day. This is going to have to wait to another day. As a matter of fact, it's probably going to have to wait to another week. As you can see, I'm using a little bit more of a different texture pack now, and things have happened. There, there, there's a gen over there. There is a jade online as well, and we're going to be switching gears in today's episode. We're going to be going and helping jade with a drowned farm because jade is needing a lot of copper and a lot of prismarine and dark prismarine, and with a drowned farm, we can get her both copper and and ink and of course we could use some ink as well with the amount of black concrete we're going to be using in this thing so let's meet up with jade and see if we can get ourselves a drowned farm established today so the island i was talking about is that one over there you see that one jade now that you've turned up render distance with that little thing yeah well we're not building on that we'll build up in the sky but that's yeah, like uh... ground point to start okay that works okay good talk yay let's go drown farm <laughs> See? <laughs> They're a hive mind. I'm doomed. <laughs> well, you have double and trouble coming. <clears throat> Two sassy redheads. Yeah. Land however you want to. Now, my area is over there. Your area is there. I really don't care which way the drown farms are, but we need to choose a module. Either they're going to be like that. Oops, sorry. Or like that. Or we can do our, all four, but i never seen the point in all four. All four just seem to waste time. So you got to pick two. How about we do one towards yours and one towards mine? Okay. All right. So we'll go with that model there. All right. That sounds simple enough. Right? <laughs> right. Nah, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to help. Yeah. Okay. All right. Watchful. Just, just, just uh, the, you, you know the thing, the, the, the speedy thing, right? Yeah, we got this, right? Yeah, good talk. Mm -hmm. Hi, okay. So throw your trident in there. There you go. And that one will be in place. Let me uh, out, please. Thank you. 
That one is now not closed up because I don't have enough tinted glass. Hold on. Well, I've Here. got tinted glass on me. Well, it, it, it ate the ones out there. That's fine. I gotta grab some more. Trying to get the killers and stuff in before we have the farm operational so we don't have a. Oh crap, we don't have. We're not ready, you know. Okay. Makes sense, right? Yes. Makes, makes sense. sense. I know, right? That just seems like a weird thing How to do. How can we be. We're being smart about something? I, I, don't ask Well, we have, we, have a, we have a slack that with That has us. nothing to do with me, okay? You ain't watched me make these farms before then. Okay, there's that one in there, so you're up. Well, I'm oh, yeah. thinking you have the experience and you learned from it. Yeah, sure. If that's what you want to tell yourself. Okay. All right, that's okay. those. All right, so I'll just break. Don't need that there. Now, collection system will have to be worked on and a universal on and off switch because they like to shut off so we'll have to run a circuit up to that Hey, Jade. Yeah? Jade, look. Look, 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 look. First piece is here. Look. Where? Oh. <laughs> Where are you at? Come, You're come, down come, there. Come, 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 come. <laughs> you, are you happy? Yes, Jade happy. Have you seen how much copper I'm using over there? You're using a little bit, I, I noticed. There's, looks like there's a little bit involved in it. I imagine uh, you're going to have a bunch. Even... Uh, yeah, that, and I haven't even added the copper to the outside yet. Hello down there. Uh, hello. Here, this is going to be copper. This is going to be backup copper. This is going to be ink and backup ink. Also need to have looting. Can't guarantee no safety of anything else. Just the items in place. And that's not rockets. That's redstone. Um, Hold on. I, I, I know how to fly. I've played this game before. <laughs> And of course, you've put a nice AFK box up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you just need to make sure. Now, you can tie it to a pressure plate if we want to. That the reason that I run redstone up here to all these is because the Trident's killers like to quit when unloaded. So typically, I put all this to a pressure plate. So we can we can do that real quick. Set it to a pressure plate. That way, when you're standing on it, you know for a fact the system's running. But you might have to walk on and off of it if you log out and re-log. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Good talk. What was that? Uh, I can. I can. Is it time it to go home safely? You mean if I hit T and look at chat where you fell from a high place? Uh huh. Yeah. Good job. Good. Good job falling. And look, we got a jade in a box holding a looting sword. Look, we got mm -hmm. a jade in a box. It's a jade in a box. It's a jade in the box. Adding to the collection. Yeah, it's a jade, a jade in the box. Jade in the box. Jade in the box. It is a jade in the box. Right. Farm done. Bye.